Okay, the fifth Percival Champion collection, as ever, based on the Champion Reverse Weave Premium Hoods, Sweats, Shirts, Track Pants. What makes it special? What makes it Champion Premium Goods? You have the elasticated gusset down the side. That means if you wash it, it's gonna shrink upwards, not inwards. And that's something they patented in 1954. The inside, super soft, it has the peached cotton interior on the 400 gram sweat. So everything 400 gram, tees 220, but we'll get to that. So we've got some new embroidery applications. See blue tip, embroidered in London. But as a move on this time around, we've got the patches. This is a bit new for us. The vehicle for the idea has been based on Soho. The store has always been based in Soho. The original store, pop-ups, and the Marshall Street store now. We've looked at a lot of vintage Scouts patch ephemera as a nod to some of our favorite locations in Soho. There's some cohorts in there. You've got some patch cohorts, and you've got the classic elasticated cuff. We know this well. What we think is a nice move on from us and Champion is having the straight leg, non-elasticated hem. So kind of just wear it as a casual trouser and that can really clean up a look, but also be a bit of loungewear at the same time. Now onto legs, something that is new for us is the cut off, a really well engineered cut off seam so it won't fray and that's gonna sit below the knee. It's kind of a nod to a, a collegiate look. Back onto the applications, you've got the chenille Soho patch. This is one of our headline pieces, chenille being uh, two tensions of thread and you get the sort of toweling effect. Two shapes of tea this time, you've got the regular fit that you'll know well, but keeping it a bit more contemporary is the oversized tee, which is still 200 gram, but it'll have a drop shoulder, a wider block on the body, and slightly shorter. You see there the nice bouquet embroidery, and let's finish on something really nice. Tiger. There you go. Online now, and as ever, it's a bird in the classics.